I don't think I've had this much fun in a movie since Fast Five. I'm serious. Furious 6. So they added the Fast and Furious this time. With Fast 5, it was just called Fast 5, not Fast and Furious, because they wanted to pretty much do a reboot. It wasn't really a reboot, but it had nothing to do with the other films. So I thought Fast 5 was awesome, personally. I think the action was so cool. There's so much everything just being wiped out. There's, there, there's explosions. There was Vin Diesel and The Rock, like, busting through walls. There's huge guns. It was just, it was probably... It, it, it is the definitive, just, it, it's it's what you should have in a movie. It is, you should have fun in a movie, and that is literally so much fun. So, I just saw Fast 6, and what did I think about it? Well, Fast 6 was actually really, really cool. As good as Fast 5? Well, let's find out. So, Fast 6 is following these characters, the crew from Fast 5, but in Fast 5, they pretty much stole an entire safe full of money and each person got six million dollars and there's like seven p people in the entire crew and so in fast six they're spending their money they're living nice lives they have plenty of girlfriends and boyfriends it's awesome and so the Rock comes, and he's this police agent see so the Rock comes up and he tries to tell Vin Diesel that his crew, he needs his crew because there's this other crew of baddies, which is this really, really awesome street crew that are just wiping out towns. And so he gets his crew ready, and this movie is seriously awesome. If you have not seen this yet, you don't know what you've been missing out on. Literally, cars, two cars <laughs> take down a plane. It's probably the most mindless action I could ever think of, but it's really, really cool. The acting is actually really good, and the dialogue is about as good as Fast Five. Fast Five's dialogue wasn't terrible, but it wasn't great. This has a lot less of those cheesy moments that Fast Five had, but it's still really, really cool. The CGI in this movie is awesome, and sometimes you can tell when the actors are in green screen, but it's really cool. The Rock is back, and he's bigger than ever. He's huge. He literally, when he's interrogating a guy, he does the Dark Knight thing where he just picks up the guy and he throws them around the room like the Dark Knight did to the Joker. It is literally, it's so entertaining. I, I don't think I've had this much fun in a movie since 2011. That is three years. This movie is the reason you should go to the movie theater. It's just it's fun. It's dumb. It's, there's just so much mindless action. It's like The Expendables 2 and The Expendables like joined together wouldn't be half as cool as this movie. Even though I love The Expendables movie. It's awesome. It's fun. Like, really, leave your brain at home. Go see this movie. It is so much freaking fun. Fun. So, my final verdict for this movie is a 9 out of 10. It is the reason you should go to the movie theater. Is it as good as Fast Five? I actually liked it better than Fast Five. It had cooler scenes and it was just, it was plain awesome. So, what are you going to see this weekend? Comment below and let me know. So, we have After Earth, we have Fast Six, we have The Great Gatsby, which I think is still out. We have Epic, and we have just, we have so many movies. Don't see Now You See Me because... Really, I really don't think you should see that. But really, what you should see, Fast 6 and After Earth. Really, those are the movies to see. I'll see a lot of other movies lately. I'll try to see as many as I can, and I'll review them and all that. So, this is Pico Link signing off.